All right, I want to talk for a minute about these Bouge RV 180 watt panels. So I should have 360 up there all together. Uh, my idea was, I could be honest with you, I was hoping to get 300 out of both of them. And maybe I will, but as you can see, the skies are blue. The sun is, uh, let me see if I can get a shadow for you. There we go. Shadow's off. Oh, it's about 2 o'clock in the afternoon. Well, I mounted these the day before yesterday. When I first mounted them, I got 286 watts out of an outcast day, overcast day, kind of hazy. You can see I've got them coming in here. I've got them temporary for now. I haven't wired it up completely. But I've got them in uh, series to increase my voltage. And then you'll see I've got it going through about 10 foot of cable. Now that could be my problem. It could be my cable's not enough. And then I've got it into one of these $85 grid tie inverters from Amazon. This is a 600 watt. I apologize if that's upside down, but that's the best way to do it. You can see the lights flashing on it. You can see the uh, fan and everything's running. You can hear it. And then I've got that coming down into a kilowatt. And you see I'm getting 246, 245 watts. And that's in the bright of the day. I mean, that's, I should be, I should be getting, getting that. So I don't know if that inverter could have a, I don't know, 10% inefficiency or something, or use that much power. And then I've also, for a backup to just check my work, I've got it hooked up to one of these Emporia plugs. These things are smart, man. These are these are really cool. You can get four of them for $22 on eBay. I'll put a link below. And, uh, well, you can pull it up by the second, by the hour, by the day, by the month, by the week. And you can see how much is either coming through it or going the other way. It seems to be working both ways. So I love that. So anyway, I'm going to keep tweaking this thing and figure out maybe... My fault is in that wire. Um, I believe it's 10 gauge is what I mean. It could be 12. Let me see if I can zoom in here. I'm not sure if we can see it. I'll have to look it up later and see. Uh, maybe it's not going to show me. Anyway, another toy I'm playing with here is this inverter. Hey, I guess... Uh, 245, 250 volts or watts into my house is uh, not too bad. My plan is to get a couple of uh, rich poly 100 watt panels, put them on this roof on this side, on the opposite, on the outside. Hook those two in series and then bring it in to parallel with these two so that I get the 180 watt efficiency and I also get the 100 efficiency and once the 100 is not cutting down the other. If I did them all in series it would cut down and it would only go with the smaller panel so that's what my plan is. I wanted to show you this Emporia smart plug that I'm using uh, just so you can get a feel of how the thing works. You can see I bought the package of four and I've got them labeled garage, solar deck, fish tank, office. I've just been playing around with them to see the big thing is I've got an old refrigerator out in the garage and this old refrigerator let's see right now I'm on 133 watts so it must be running you can look at it by the minute you can look at it by the hour you can see my refrigerator cycles on draws quite a bit and it cycles down cycles down cycles down the problem is is that it runs for 50 minutes and then shuts off for just 20. So I'm going to have to replace that refrigerator anyway. Um, what's nice looking at it by the minute. It tells you up in the top here what you're doing. There it cycled down. So when I get to that part you'll see it drop down to wattage. 4 watts. So it's 4 watts on standby and then it jumps up 140 some watts. <clears throat> So anyway, that was the purpose of buying these things, and they're great. 
I'm not kidding you. So you go down and hit your home button again. You see all four of my plugs. Let's go to the solar deck. And you can see right now I'm only pulling in three, 236 watts. So I did correlate that with the kilowatt meter and they're within about three watts of one another. So, I mean, they're pretty doggone close. Same thing here. I can look at it. Uh-oh. Rot row. Rot row. Let's get back to where I was. I'm looking through my phone, so I probably shouldn't be doing that. But anyway, um, right now I'm on seconds. Let's go to minutes. You can see I can scan through. Here's where I was playing around and shut it off for a few seconds to see if it would boost higher. Same thing here. Here's this morning. You can see it ramping up um, from, what is that, probably about 10 o'clock, ramping up to my solar power. And it keeps track of everything for you. You can look at it by the hour again. You can see what I did yesterday, today. So it's really a slick little app, and, and it is working in reverse. So... To tell you where that is, I got it on Amazon. I noticed now I look it up and they're $29.99. And uh, I knew, and you get four of them. I knew I paid less than that. I knew I did. So just watch it every once in a while and it will come down in price. Let me go back here and look at my exact order. You can see I paid, what, $22.99 for it. Uh, you know, three weeks ago, four weeks ago, something like that. So. Anyway, uh, just keep your eye on it, and I'm sure it'll go up and down in price. But, wow, these things work terrific. I just wanted to, to share that with you.